Illustrator CS5 and the use of the convert to shape command. Right, I've got some text here. Just going to select the text and then effect. Convert to shape. Ellipse. Click OK. And now you'll suddenly see, hang on, doesn't do anything. Suddenly all the text has disappeared. Well, the text is actually still there. You just pass over it, you actually see it appear. But the way around that is just go to Edit, Undo. Now I've just got the text and go to the Appearance palette. Go to Appearance and then do Add a New Fill. Add that new fill. Now the fill is the thing you want to apply the effect to. So I'm just going to go to the effect. So I've obviously selected at that point. So it's selected. You can see it's selected. Effect. Convert to shape. Ellipse. Right. So you've actually got ellipse there. It's applied. So click OK. You can now see the ellipse. Now the text actually is behind the design. So obviously not really very good. So I'm just going to select the characters and drag the characters up above there. So actually now you can see convert to shape, ellipse. You can actually see it displayed there. Right, now you might say, oh, I want to change the color of the text. Well, you can change the color of the text. Just double click the characters and then go fill and just select the fill and then say set red. So now you can see the text is now red. And of course, once you've exited out, so I'm just going to select that. That's actually the display there is actually the for the ellipse. So you actually see the ellipse color there. So if you actually go to there and say you want, oh, you want a green behind that or blue or something, say, so you can actually click on that or green. So you can actually change the color of the ellipse just like that. Now you can actually apply effects to those. So the ellipse. So I'm just going to go to the fill and I'm just going to go effect distort, transform, and say zigzag. I mean, you could pick some of the other ones, but I'm just going to select that one. So I'm just going to create a slightly more. So click OK at that point. So you've actually got a slightly done. Now the text is actually editable. So you can actually say, oh, I don't want that. I want, well, I'll put it onto another line. So I can say rectangle, etc. So you can actually change the text as you want. So it actually creates a dynamic sort of. You can also, of course, go to the graphic start and save that. But I'm actually just going to do that before that. I'm just going to create another fill. So fill, add new fill. No, I'm going to duplicate item. Now you could do add new fill, but I'm going to duplicate item. I want to actually create a similar sort of effect. So I'm just going to go down there. But I'm just going to, you've got two there now. So I'm just going to select that one and change the color. So that's the color of that one. So I'm just going to say the zigzag I could change, but I'm going to change the ellipse. So I'm just going to change it. It's, of course, all editable at any point in the creative process. So I'm just going to say make that 18. So that makes it slightly more dynamic. So I, I, I put it behind, actually. So I'm just going to move the position of the fill. So I'm just going to select that, drag it down. So now it's actually behind that. Right. So you've actually got, again, it's still still editable. So, you know, ellipse. You've got actually a slightly very dynamic sort of star flash design or frame design. You could actually create, obviously, frame design. But you can also, at that point, if you wish, you can go new graphic style. And you can save the graphic style. So you can apply that, obviously, to text at a later stage. You can apply other effects and other things and create uh, many different things. Obviously, you can add multiple fills and so on and so on.